Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing a tutorial on how to translate your um, sine and cosine waves vertically. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a standard sine wave. So you can see here in the Desmos graphing calculator I've just drawn a standard sine wave and you can see the period of the wave is 2 pi the amplitude is 1 and so on. So what I want to do now is I want to shift this whole curve up so that the um, origin, the x-intercept, uh, doesn't start at 0 but it's going to start at 2. The first x-intercept will be at 2. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to put y equals sine x again Okay, but this time I'm going to put a plus 2 on the end. And it makes sense if we just look at the graph, right? Originally, x is the input, which is 0. We put it in the sine function, so when x is 0, y is 0. And then we plus 2 to the output, so then the um, new output is 2. So whichever y value was on the original function, so for example here the y value is 0 0.637 if we add 2 to that on the same x value when x is um, all right, when x is 0 0.7 y is 0 0.644 but if we add 2 to the y value we get when x is 0 0.7 y is 2.644 so we're just adding whatever this number is on the end to our original y value. So we can also subtract, okay? So let's say I want to translate the original curve, which is the blue one. Let's say I want to translate it down. So I can just put in y equals sine x minus one, all right? Then it goes down by one unit. So that is the vertical translation, right? Uh, in case you're still confused, I'm going to show you the table of values but if you're okay with it then feel free to move on to the next tutorial so let's say I have um, theta alright when theta is 0 sine theta is 0 alright sine of 0 is 0 and then if we go sine 0 sine theta let's say plus 3 then the answer is going to be 3 so um, let's say theta is now 90 degrees sine theta sine 90 is 1 and sine theta plus 3 will be 1 plus 3 which is 4 and that is why um, if we have a look at the graph right let's say we have sine x plus 3 right when theta is 0, sine theta plus 3 is 3, so that's the new curve. And when theta is 90, sine theta plus 3 is 4. So when theta is 90, which is pi over 2, pi over 2 radians is the same as 90 degrees. So when theta is 90, y is 4. Okay, so hopefully this tutorial helps you to understand vertical translation. See you guys next time.